You know, we've focused so much in the last uh, six years on what's going on in Iraq and Afghanistan. And we've had a loss of life there, of course. Almost 4,500 Americans were killed, have been killed in Iraq. Tens of thousands wounded, about 37,000. But sometimes we don't concentrate on what took place in Vietnam. 57,000 were killed. American troops killed in Vietnam. Well more than 100,000 wounded. So we're here today to recognize one of those who defended the standards of our country in uniform. Uh, Ms. McBride, we're so happy you're here. Um, we're here, we're happy you're here because you represent uh, those brave Americans who are over the decades have represented our country. And we look at all these wars that we've been in and we recognize why we're so fortunate to be in this great country, to have the freedoms that we do, none of which would be available but for the fact that each of you uh, defended our country uh, and in effect preserved the rule of law our Constitution. So it's really unfortunate that we've had to wait all these many years for you to receive this award that you're entitled. I'm now able to ask you to come forward. And if you'd stand here with me. United States of America, to all who shall see these presents, greeting. This certified that the President of the United States of America has awarded the Purple Heart, established by General George Washington at Newburgh, New York, August 7th, 1782, to Specialist 4th Grade Robert A. McBride, United States Army, for wounds received in action on 31 January 1968 in the country of Vietnam, given under my hand in the city of Washington this 28th day of January 2009 by the Adjutant General of the United States and by the Secretary of the Army. Present this to you. I want to thank you all for being here and all the federal veterans that are here. I think what I'm going to do with this Purple Heart, I'm going to give it to my wife, Barbara, for putting up with me all these years. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it very much.